Solutioneering Communities. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 196. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 Nonprofit Organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 196, December 25th, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or join us on social media and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the third 25% of the written content for the cognition lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan purposed to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of cognition is now 75% completed on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the first 25% section of the written part of the Cosmos lesson plan. We also completed the second 25% of the mind map for the consciousness lesson plan, bringing that to 50% complete, which you see here. And we finished updating the icons across all the lesson plan pages. Here's an example, and we are now 90% done with the total icon update for the highest good education component. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team finished reformatting and adding sections to the vegan pasta recipes and the omnivore pasta recipes pages. You can see a sample of that work here on the vegan pasta recipe page. We also did another update for the appearance of the highest good food icons and then updated them on all the pages of the website. Here's a picture of the new icons. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. The core team, working with Ashwini Ramesh, civil engineer and project manager, put another combined total of 20 hours into the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week's focus was more AutoCAD image creation and developing the second half of the Earthbag Municipal County Involvement and Permitting page. The core team also reorganized all the images for the Recycled Materials Village, Pod 6, into their respective floors and added initial descriptions for each one. The three living space renders shown here were also new additions to the page. Then we completed final edits to the three tropical atrium renders shown here and added them to the Earthbag Village, Pod 1 page, along with the versions without people to the tropical atrium page and incorporated them into the Seven Villages online book, along with updates to the front spread and final render of the game room for the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6. In addition to this, we created this new Earthbag Village water-saving net zero communal toilet page featuring the designs of Samuel Sorster, permaculturist, sustainable builder, PhD, and founder of Green New World. Adrian Gould-Choquette, mechanical engineer, 
Join the team and finish your first week by taking over creation of the standardized AutoCAD layers and line weights template we are creating. You can see some of how this is developing with these images of the work in progress here. Fernando Rimolina, industrial engineer specializing in project management, continued with his 10th week of managing the vermiculture bathroom development with the fifth week of help from Lin Zhu, mechanical engineering student, and Jianu Lucas Liang, mechanical engineer. This week's focus, as shown here, was drain design and exploring different ways to connect the main unit to the toilets above. Liani Zhao, mechanical engineer, joined the team and began his first week of working on the net zero communal bathroom designs. This week, he began remodeling the designs to better match the AutoCAD drawing and adding SolidWorks model details for the surrounding area in the Earthbag Village. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. What you are seeing is a series of 26 renders continuing the testing and development of the lighting in one of these units. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 23rd week helping with the compressed earth block village pod 4 design details. This week's focus was on developing the front and back perspectives, internal views of the hallways, and some of the rooms, roof textures, and other details shown here. Aparna Tandon, architect, additionally continued her work on the compressed earth block village external elements. What you see here is her 13th week of work, focusing on exploring new elements for a meditation labyrinth, and surrounding areas, adding amphitheater seating, a walking path, and other planting plan details, as shown here. Working off of Aparna's work, Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, helped with some additional 3ds Max visualization testing of another of the zones for the compressed earth block village, as shown here. Zachary Moline, graphic designer, also continued developing the Treehouse Village Pod 7 book. What you see here is week 18 of this work that continued with another update to page 51 and newly updated pages 52 and 53. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued render creation for the Duplical City Center. This included more work on the natural pool area, where we added pond water and bottom of the pond textures, water plants and lilies, and bike racks and bikes, plus updating the dining room render with the new internal color scheme. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, and Shunani, Masters of Mechanical Engineering and Civil Engineering PhD, also continued their work on the City Center structural engineering. This week's focus, was continued calculations for the braces and columns and merging and updating all the AutoCAD files to confirm consistency. And Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, continued with her 23rd week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was beginning the calculations for how many bulbs will be needed in each zone, now that we've chosen them, and beginning to update the spreadsheet, as shown here. Jin Chi Feng, environmental consultant, also continued her research, helping us create an in-depth laundry and dryer machine sustainability analysis. What you see here is her 16th week of behind-the-scenes work on this area of the project. This week's focus was beginning creation of an open-source tool to compare water and energy savings with different washers and dryers. You can see screenshots of this amazing tool here. And Hannon Dantes, mechanical engineer, continued with his fifth week working on creating our next generation of Dubical City Center sections, layout organization, layer updates, and color updates. You can see the most recent colors, formatting, and updates here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, Yuri Vite, music composer and sound designer, completed his eighth week of helping create the music that will accompany the new overview video we are planning. This week's focus was writing a new audio for the background of these blogs. You can hear this in the background, and you can visit Yuri's SoundCloud to listen to his other work with us. Ashwin Patil, web developer, 
also completed more development of the new search engine beginning to integrate a decision to create multiple smaller engines and successfully testing three huge demo engines on one page. One community is solutionary communities. The way that we're doing this is through open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living. The foundations that we've identified as essential are the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we have identified as highest good education, fulfilled living practices, highest good economics, and true earth stewardship. We're putting these things together as an evolution of sustainability that we believe will provide a way of living that is better than the way that most people are living right now. Our idea is if we can make this easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own. And one community is meant to be the solutionary community to launch it all. We're building one community as the starting point, as the launch point, as the place that anybody will be able to visit, experience everything that, was, that, everything that it is that we are open sourcing, and if they like what they see, if you like what you experience, if you want to replicate it, if you want to evolve it, if you want to change it, if you want to adapt it, if you want to make it better, do it different. We're providing all the open source tools, tutorials, resources, do-it-yourself instructions for that purpose. And one community as a teacher demonstration, community, village, city, and hub is designed to make the entire model self-replicating, to provide that better way of living, a way that most people consider to be better than the way that they're living right now as a model demonstrating everything that's necessary for replication anywhere in the world. And for those that are interested in joining the highest good collaborative, the people with the consciousness for the highest good that want to do something and contribute to the open source solutionary communities model that we are launching, well, we want to partner with you. We want to collaborate with those groups. We want to be a part of the development process and help facilitate that so that you can be successful as well and create another model. The idea being that if one community can open source and free share everything necessary to replicate itself, and that spawns two additional communities, taking what it is that we're creating and doing it their own way, but with enough to be able to be successful, and that inspires four more communities, say the next year, and that inspires eight the year after that, and 16, and 32, and 64, and so on and so forth. If we do this, communities ranging from small groups of people, maybe just five or 10, to 50, to 100, to what we will grow to, which is thousands, the idea is that we can create a sustainable world for everyone. We can truly create a planet that works for everybody. Solutionary communities working together, creating solutions for all the challenges of today and all the challenges of tomorrow. An adaptable, modifiable, open source, sustainable, self-sufficient system designed to be replicated and improved upon all over the world. Creating a global collaboration of people with different values, different goals, but still built on an infrastructure that was, that was designed with the consciousness for the highest good of all people everywhere. To create a world that truly works for everyone. This is what we're doing. This is our idea of solutionary communities and we invite you to join us. If this sounds interesting to you, sounds fun to you, it sounds exciting to you, if it's something you'd like to be a part of, get involved. We have lots of different ways to do that. The easiest of which anybody can do, which is just share our information on social media. We are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on LinkedIn, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on Facebook, we are on Twitter, we are on Pinterest, about 15 other social media networks because our goal is to get the information out there into as many hands as possible. To reach that tipping point of participation where enough people are involved, enough people are engaged, enough people are using the ideas, the concepts, everything that we're developing that we can positively and permanently impact the lives of everyone. And that doesn't mean that everybody has to participate. It just means that we can reach that tipping point of engagement so that what we're doing has a ripple effect and impact on everyone. Meanwhile, people can live the way that they want. But for people that are interested in self-sustainability, for people that are interested in self-sufficiency, for people that are interested in open source, for people that believe that we can create a world that works for everyone, we're creating a global collaboration with that goal, and we're here to provide everything necessary to make that successful. Of course, people ask, well, what's the number one thing that would help one community in achieving its goal? Well, we're still seeking large-scale funding. It's not actually our primary focus right now. Our primary focus is on the open source blueprints, tools, tutorials, and resources. 
But if we were funded, we'd be able to get the property off the market that we've been working with now for six years. We've been focusing on, we've been designing around. It's a perfect property for us to be able to build everything that we're describing, to be able to invite tens of thousands, eventually hundreds of thousands of people to visit and, and experience what it is that we're doing. And we're still seeing large scale funding for that. So if you or somebody you know uh, has access to the funds to help us get the property off the market, we would love to speak with you because that is a major step in our goals. Meanwhile, we'll continue solutionary communities the way that we are, building the open source tools, tutorials, resources, and blueprints for all the areas that I've discussed and that you see every week in these updates. This is what one community is doing. This is how we're creating a self-replicating model, a teacher demonstration hub specifically purposed to create additional teacher demonstration hubs to replicate itself all over the world to adapt to the needs of individuals and groups and create, in so doing, create other iterations and versions of what it is that we're doing, other solutionary communities as well, to help others create their own version, to solve their own challenges, all while built on the foundations that we think that everybody needs. The food, the energy, the housing, and then those emotional sustainability components as well, the fulfilled living practices, the high good economic models, the, the education model, as well as the earth stewardship, so people can use what they want, not use what they want, but so they've got a real starting point for anybody who would like to create true sustainability for themselves, their families, their friends, for the world. This is how one community is creating change. This is what we're doing every week. So thanks for the donations. We're all, we're an all volunteer operation. None of us are paid for what it is we're doing. So thank you for the small donations, the $5, the $10, the $15. They help us to cover the expenses of running a global organization like this, but none of that goes to salaries. None of us are paid for what it is that we're doing. None of our volunteers, we're a 100% volunteer organization. Thank you for watching to the end. Thank you for the emails. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the shares. If you like more details, more specific links to all open source content, this is our written blog. If you'd like to see, uh, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you send an email to one community updates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. And uh, until next week, we will continue solutioneering communities as we keep on keeping on. Thanks.